Today on BRS TV, can you scoop water out of the ocean for your tank? Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of BRS TV's 52 FAQ. This week we're answering Kyle Archer's question, I live by the ocean, is there any reason not to just use natural seawater for a reef tank? The simplest answer to this question is, yes you can. I think this is most often driven by the desire to save a few bucks in an otherwise expensive hobby, but in some cases it might be because ocean water could be considered a better option because it's a natural source and likely more environmentally friendly. So it can absolutely be an attractive option to some reefers and there's no doubt that many are successfully using water collected from the ocean. That said, not many reefers do this for three primary reasons. It's difficult to identify or locate a clean source of ocean water, the additional steps required to use it, and the chems required to adjust it. So starting with number one, even though many of us live near the ocean, very few of us live near sources of clean ocean water. Meaning water near beaches, boat harbors, freeways that drain into the ocean, all are fairly polluted. If you can reach the water from shore, there's a high likelihood it's contaminated with boat and car fuel, pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers from yard or farm runoff, elements which drain from freeways into the ocean, industrial polluters, and potentially even sewage, none of which you want to start or maintain a reef tank with. So your best bet is to collect water pretty far offshore where it's likely there's a lower chance the water will contain significant levels of undesirable contaminants. Of course, you'll need to have access to a boat, which represents a small fraction of the people watching this video. So everyone else determined to use seawater, my best advice is look for an area which simply looks clean and geographically positioned in a presumably clean area away from beaches, major roadways, industrial areas, boat traffic, large farms, streams or rivers, and large cities. It's always a good sign if marine life is thriving there as well. The second deterrent to natural seawater is of course the work required to use it. Starting with you have to drive around and spend time hauling water back and forth. It requires a significant amount of time and effort for most people. The water is also filled with all kinds of live organisms, meaning potentially algae, coral and fish parasites, plankton, as well as all types of particulates and organics can be present. Most reefers will at minimum send the water through a filter sock or series of them. I guess some reefers might send it through an ozone reactor or UV sterilizer, or even a sterilizing agent like chlorine, but anyone who cares that much probably just finds it easier to use an artificial salt mix. The third reason why many reefers tend to shy away from using natural seawater is the water in your area might very well not have calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, and other levels common to thriving reef areas or reef tanks, so it might require significant adjustments. I imagine most of the people who stumbled on this video were really hoping to see a quick yes. It's as easy as filling a bucket at the pier or beach. Well, that's ultimately not realistic for most people. Hopefully, some of you found valuable insight into what's the right direction for you. If you'd like to learn more about creating water for a reef tank, check out week seven of our 52 Weeks of Reefing series, How to Produce the Best Water Possible. Remember, it's your questions that drive this series, so keep them coming. See you next week with another 52 FAQ.